I've looked at over the air updates from the perspective of the Pico W before, but not touched on the security of these updates. To secure these updates, we need a platform that will manage these devices. Thistle Technology, the video sponsor, has a lot of potential in this space. In this video, I'm going to configure a Raspberry Pi as a secure managed device and update a nominal application over the air. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, Pico 2, robotics, IoT, and other fun tech. Remember to subscribe and join the community. This video will look at over the air distribution of an application to a Raspberry Pi rather than a Pico or Pico W. The concepts though are ones we would use to update the whole of the Raspberry Pi image or potentially the firmware on a Pico W or a Pico 2W. It is about registering device services, instructing uh, the updates and securely validating those updates, plus rolling back on error. If you'd like this video and it helps your learning or projects, then why not drop me a cash tip using that super thanks button below the video or the payment link in the description. Remember, I'm saving these up to get myself to the open source conference in San Francisco, and I'd appreciate your help in getting me there, and I, of course, hope to see you there too. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more. As a high level concept for this video, actually it's really simple. All I'm going to do is enroll a new device to be managed and update an application on that device. But I'm going to do all of that securely, and I'm going to do that securely using the Thistle Technologies platform. This video is sponsored by Thistle Technologies, providing security infrastructure for devices. Thistle provides a platform through which we can increase security resilience and decrease development time for our IoT and embedded devices. Thistle's platform is quickly evolving, with new capabilities and devices supported. So sign up to their development community today. Link is in the description. I've already registered on the free tier for the Thistle Control Center. And so I can now create a project under which we'll be able to manage all our releases and our devices. So I've signed into the Thistle Control Center and now I'm gonna create a new project. And this is just gonna be my Dr. John EA over the air update project. So let's just set that up create that and then that gives us a really key information that we need to proceed. So if we go into that now we will find that there's no releases, no firmware in there, no devices in there, it's just a blank project right now. What it does have in there which is really really key for us is the access control keys because I'm going to need that key so that when I start actually creating my application and creating the manifest of that application, I know what I'm actually registering from. So let's just have a look at where those access keys are there and I can copy those from there. So we've got both the uh, device keys, which we will use later, and the access key. This will provide us with two command line tools. TRH, this, this will release helper, which is about creating the keys and the local environment for the project, creating the manifest for the updates and getting everything ready and preparing that as a release. And then the TUC, which is a, what we will use on the client to actually register that device and get the update down. Both these tools are available in binaries to download for various architectures. Now these are all, of course, you know, Linux or Windows based uh, services. They aren't actually embedded. The embedded approach is, is slightly different and something I will talk about later. The first thing we're gonna do is have to use that access uh, token for the project that we talked about earlier to copy that and to put that in my environment. Now I'm on a, well, actually I'm running on this on a Mac, so I've got a Unix-like shell and I'm going to use the export command to create that as a environmental variable called Thistle token, which is what the TR and THR will pick up and use to actually communicate with the Thistle uh, control center and backend. So I'm going to initialize my environment 
by using the TRH init command. I've got a minus P option there, which is where all of the persistent data is going to get stored for the release and things. Um, it's going to use a key I'd, I'd actually already set up. Uh, if you do this first time, it'll actually help you set it up and uh, go through that. Then we've got some configuration here and the configuration file that it's created is for our devices. Um, I'm going to change the name of my device because I want my device to uh, be RPI 5 so that I can recognize it. But the other things there, that, that file we'll use later. And we've got a manifest. Now the manifest has got nothing in it. So we actually haven't got an application yet. That will be our next step to actually set up that application and that manifest. But after this, we've got that environment set up so that we're ready to uh, start building on our release. For this example, I'm going to keep things really, really simple. So in, instead of doing the whole operating system or whole application, I'm just really going to fake it and have a simple singled file application. And in fact, it isn't really an application. It's just a file that contains a text, hello world, but it will show us the concepts. So the file is going to be called Dr. John EA app, and I'm going to install it on the temp folder. So I'm going to create my application in a folder called example. And it's just, as I said, going to be a single file. So we're just going to echo hello world into that file. And we could make this, of course, much more complicated as an app, or I could actually be uh, creating a manifest containing the whole uh, of an operating system. So we're going to use the trh prepare command with the target for the example folder. And uh, we're going to then say where that's going to get installed as well, uh, which is the file base path, if I can spell that right. And that's going to be in temp. And that's what's actually going to create and update that manifest for us. Of course, enter the password again, because this is all going to get signed using all the keys that we've generated and been managed for us. And you can see the manifest now contains an awful lot more information, including where this is going to get installed and its location, etc. So we can now release that. And that means that that's actually now going to be put up there onto the uh, contr Thistle Control Center so we can actually see it. And we can see that we've got an uh, a release ready to, to go. And you can see here, I've got a screenshot, we can see our release. Right, so now we can actually go onto our client and actually get it to enroll. So it's managed by the Control Center and update as in pull down this application. So now on my Raspberry Pi 5 I'm actually going to uh, work with this and I've copied over this config.json file because that's the file we need to actually get this going and we saw that that was created earlier. So we're going to use the TUC uh, utility and I've copied that over here and downloaded it. Um, I'm going to then uh, put that into my uh, local bin directory just so that I can actually use it and make that uh, usable for me and and uh, make it um, uh, executable, of course, as well. But it's just these two files that's all I need to actually get my device enrolled and uh, then to actually get this update to happen. Great, so now let's uh, let's run that uh, TUC and against that config.json file, and that should cause it to go and actually enroll this device and actually trigger this update to, to occur, and so that we can pull that down. And I'm just gonna stop that there and uh, show that we actually do have the file in the temp directory, there's Dr. John EA, apps and there's hello world so that all works and now if i go on and have a look at the portal itself and then the control center i will be able to see that that this device has actually been enrolled and that it is sitting there the thistle technologies platform makes this type of update easy though in this video we've only managed a single client in the real world of course we would have tens 
hundreds or thousands of clients. I would really like to build an example where I'm updating configuration or the full firmware onto a Pico W or a Pico 2W. It's not quite there on Thistle yet. Do register with Thistle though, so that you can see when this capability might become available, as well as subscribing here for more, of course. If you like this video and it helps your learning or projects, why not drop me a cash tip using that super thanks button below the video or the payment link that's in the description. Remember, I'm saving these up to get myself to the open source conference in San Francisco, and I'd appreciate your help in getting me there, and I'd love to meet you all there too. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe and please like the video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.